Orlando. Ghana's number one casino game. Avieta Alandi or Betway Airport. Betway for the love of the game. Bet the responsible way. Regulated by the Gaming Commission of Ghana. No under 80. Terms and conditions apply. You see, you see, stories no and also a lot of people travel outside through several means. Now, my name Omar, Omafa, Libya, I call Italy, Akasa. I've talked to a couple of them. Almost Omafa, Astro, I think Morocco to Spain, Akasa. Other means of transportation to to uh, Abuche. In fact, video who pa and my team is old yet. Mati Brazil, pa Mati. So because he be from Brazil, he go United States of America. He be from Brazil, he go other places. He be so far other different places. It's me, he go baby brain. Now me back Germany, no. I'm a team. Me back when you were story. I'm like, back when you, any one come on. Now man, for so into a story so that you can take one or two out of it. He was in Brazil. He's been to Venezuela, so so a whole lot, and and many. A balance. Now, me the different fufi. I'm a and then a balance. Let's see, me change. I will hear Germany. I will be doing come. Me doing as I please. Bra. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, brother. As I feel, good afternoon. We have a call there. We have a call. In Damiasi. Yeah, more from. Damiasi. Eh, we have a call there. Alhamdulillah, Damiasi. Okay. What was Germany? How many years? Six years. Me call almost six years. Six years. Yeah, almost. Okay. There will be people in Germany. Okay, make us here. Now I'm in Brazil. About Martina Brazil, almost 15 to 16 years. Okay. I'm a brother. Who figured out it? I figured out in 2007. Yeah. Tell me, we're high school now. We figured out. Exactly. You know, you're busy. You should be busy, you know. Now I'm going to call Brazil. No easy. 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 No Okay, anyway. And before that, Ghana, where are you? Ghana, I'm a businessman. I'm a business. I'm a top phone, so tip to lane. Okay. I'm definitely tip to lane. For a very long time, I'm talking tip to lane. Mm. Any others, any uh, uh, used goods, I'm mm. talking about the force. I'm 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 talking about the white t-shirt, any, any, any others. We be able to be able to come there, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It means uh, no scout. Anyway, because uh, Alhamdulillah, because Alhamdulillah. Now you okay. Uh, was very very okay, very very okay. Yeah, very very. Now okay. Tima. Now Tima, Tima. Okay. Yeah, the friend side be Kusuntu line. Okay. Tima uh, around the Tima post office on Tima overhead. Okay. Exactly. Um, see, then we be able to okay in Ghana. Then I can we say I feel I mean from an inch I'm very simple. Okay, 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 no, yeah, okay, no, uh, different time. You okay, you okay. You okay, B. You can survive means of eating, paying your bills. At least you can extend your hand to a sister, to a brother, or a friend. Okay, there are some okay. It's only in your pocket, in your stomach, in your room. So me, 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 somehow okay to the extent I do extend my hand to my sisters, my friends, but. I am my last born. I am my last born. I am my last born. My papa, I worry, my son. So all the wife, I am my last born. Now you were brown. How many siblings? Since uh, you were eleven. Now eleven, eleven born. Uh, uh, okay. Two, two. Omo, baby. Yeah, okay. Omo, Come from Kresi. Ami, 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 Ami. Inti, I am my last born. You were brown. Say my son. Omo, Abrochi, Finland, Sweden, any. I want to tell you life for no tale. Life for no dear. So, when so when Gina will not so I will so baby be a woman who are that in you who be a penny bunny and I mean so no problem. And Miss Tati and me call you South African visa. I mean, he's a car, I'm a cotton ticket. It's a because you China visa. South African visa was it a journey visa? Yeah, journey. Be me the me a quantum be me and in a journey because. I knew about for be out. So we got Tom Lai, police lie be at Ali, me knew be anti me pesca. Go yo. Na 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 first no na often you na yo yeah guru boys for visa cartiers, your connection to me so me your connection man crawfun to me ni minister documentation line no call G visa. To the South Africa one call. My just Africa. But that's carry tickets. Mm se can know about half half to make DD me pay into Mr. Tale. No lie. Yeah, she go here. She go here. Could you China? Could you China sue? 
see oh, China dear, is that make comments, Tale, China sky, no, China, da, da, da. no lie. And uh, my guy, I was sitting there, they say they're taking a call, taking a line from Turkey to Greece. That time, I'm going sit down. Take it to Greece, dear Charlie. Mm, I don't feel that lie. And then, your guys be one more children than Tobago. Friends, oh, I balance that. Charlie, tell you that. Shoo, Charlie, the, the latest issue, no. Now, so you have to come to Brazil before. Good trend, daddy. Because so fly from Ghana direct. I'm going bear some because a, a, a visa exemption. Now, so still, no bar. No bar, so. No bar, so. No bar, so. Maybe, so we need some, some nice reason in beer. So as as of now, it's Trinidad and Tobago still. It's, it's a visa exemption with Ghana passport. So visa on arrival. Visa on arrival. Oh, so uh, I can just take my passport and go to. You can go visa, but you have to show them. Go oh, that one day. Say so accommodation, return ticket. Sometimes to, Sometimes too. So we pay a home here. My bank account. Yeah. For no reason. Yeah, they are Caribbeans. Wow. West Indies. So I'm more scarce. I'm more petrol to. I'm, 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 I feel like you are coming to end. Even yeah. you are coming for a tour, still you are coming to see something. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you choose either other country? So mm -hmm. the full. Wow. Let me see no problem. And let me call you Brazil visa. In your way, fam. Brazil visa. Many guy been here, Juma. Many guy, your friend, you have the same head, Ajungo. Oh no, our your friend is there. Who was about to see you know be me free. Uh, me, me referee. A yeah, blaster supporter. Yeah, blaster. Uh, a friend say, uh, ah, me referee. But to me, now, yeah, yeah, this kind of uh, documentation level be me. When you say that kind of level, you, you, me woman dada. Tell me, Charlie, guy, I feel like Charlie. Say, say, I'm pressing me move you because hand to mouth something in there, but no, dear, no lie. You, no, it's no problem. Then, yeah, 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 one time, one time, when I meet my Brazilian, and by that time, I'm more uh, Opebia. Okay, okay. I call Ronnie Visa. I call Ronnie Visa. I three months visa. Okay. That's where the game began. I call them three months visa now. How to move out from Ghana? Charlie. My, it's not a um, tough phone. My tough phone charger, phone cover. I hear this kind of hardware. My learning this kind of hardware I by force. But you know, I'm going to. Yeah, me, me, most of my traveling, me, I have no contacts. No, sir. But my catch show, 1999, traveling, me, and I have no contacts. I just go on my own, then I survive. Even, even, I say, I'm uh, Mexico. Just last two weeks, no Mexico. Me, no contacts. Now, so me do Panama to Mexico, no. and then I'm a means. I'm a big boy, i Most of me, I'm China, me, no contacts. You see, me, 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 a friend is uh, me, uh, I come to me, uh, strange. Then tell us about the Brazil story now. And then I call you visa and I'm Italy. Now, now my CV, I'm crabby, now I'm still Italy still. And so, and I'm a friend of Brian, I say, brah, to me, brah, be your, or Finland. A friend of Brian, say, brah, big bro, Italy, man, you visa. Then no, because uh, your friend is uh, Brazil. Uh, that time, no, Brazil was nowhere to be heard or to be known. 15, Before 16. Before the World Cup. 50, 16 years ago, dear, mm. when you say, and then now, and I'm sure okay, no problem. So, bro, tell me, what we say, my China, man, call, my South Africa, man, call, we need, it's okay, no problem. But, wow, you know, my friend, you say, who pay, you say, me pay, 1,005, was it 1,000, 2,005? Dollars. Dollars? No, it's no problem, 2007, and then, my money, 1,005, cash in my hand. Big up, my brother, Fawaz, Ibrahim, in Finland, it's okay, no problem, and then, still, scan you so. You can take it now. Uh, because that and the ticket was around 1008 to 2009. Wow. Yeah, 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 Many, many two months, three weeks tickets ahead. Me, 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 me were three months visa. Now, so my konya, my ko book just, just to get some discount. You know, me two thousand eight hundred fifty. Cause a why cheap price in the cheap. Still two thousand eight hundred fifty thousand nine hundred. Me could here against two months, three weeks. Me free Ghana. Me, me ticket. Me visa. Me visa. I cast seven days. No. Anywho. 
Oh, and then no lie. No data soon. I'm saying, then. Kaka, 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 and then. Because I'm because I'm checking. My do Brazil, my ticket, my visa, I got six days. And then, my seven days to stay. To stay. And then, that's where another story to began. Then, my name is you. Remember, remember, I can't stay in Brazil life. Brazil to Venezuela is so so life. Oh, telling you that. Let me say. If it is uncommon in Venezuela, you so so abrabo. But here's our phone. I'm about to see you. Hello, hey, nah. Me call me for now. Hey, who come from? Now who's me? I do ma. I say Grace get fit here. That woman take. Say say we be any one more day. We no. Aye, say say they get us to chill baby. Now my sister say I want my dear ma. Me me secret. I na wo dey na me boa. I wo na chill na na. I wo ni. Me sister don't come from far from far. No credit. I don't know who is going to tell you about it. I don't know who is going to tell you about it. I don't know who is going to tell you about it. I don't know who is going to tell you about it. Just there, you're going to tell you about it. I don't know who is going to tell you about it. Hey, Scratch and Wayne! Stroke the Wayne Wayne Stroke the Wayne Wayne Stroke the Wayne 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 Hey! 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 How you able to even maneuver and right now also Brazil passport? Yeah, me, me a Brazilian citizen wow. for almost nine years now. Okay, when you come to Kumo now, first day going. Okay, like I say, Brazil is a lovely country. It's a welcoming country, man. Okay, God so good. My mate guy be your flight to me. Your friend Abdul Latif, I see our America. Oh no, the guy be at Kasanti. One man who guy be number. If I guy no Ali, she Ali. The number no one says, say, do a porter, young free guy, no. But my, uh, but my uh, location is in a buyer, but do town. Until me, guy, no, I had done for. We'll fly to me, a buyer, no, and a talker, and a free alien, and so, okay. More sky, so we get a small dollar, we can change the dollar. Munto, Brazilian, Brazilian reals. Mobile bus be a true airport, Sao Paulo airport service, because you call Republica. Muko Plaza Republica, that's inside Sao Paulo. And then you got a ticket to then you join Barcelona. Until you better do, you better do Republica. Then your friend also, no, I have busy. Until you, but my guy be be fire. The guy be be fire. Your friend who, your friend who Sunny dot com. They say our Finland Sunny dot com. And I'm going to be be fire. Straight to hotel. Everything comes from your pockets. You you stay hotel for one month. That's not the point. I wouldn't lie, I took less than $700, less than $700. So how were you able to sleep in a hotel for some, some one month? Okay, you know, there are some, there are some, Sao Paulo is the place to be, it's a ghetto, it's a neighborhood, it's a zango. So you go according to your level. Mm. You have a big time hotel, you have a, this kind, or people to have a fee, four or five rooms, or it's a okay. sound, you are caught now almost, let me say it's like $6, for a day, no food, no food, no water. Just you can just have your bath and just move your way. Mm. You are about six or five guys in the room. In the, uh, in, uh, one room, one room. How much? Uh, six dollars a night. Yeah, it's so uh, your friend, your friend, that, your friend that bed in, in Portuguese, uh, belish, okay, belish like this. Okay, in here too, you call it a uh, 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 hog bed. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three, just survive with mm. junkers. With, uh, so how, with how, 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 how are you eating? At least there are there, there are some constitutional restaurants. Brazil, everything is cheap. Food is cheap. Food that and food was very very cheap. So at least two thousand and seven. Two thousand at least okay. they they introduce you to some local restaurant, which at least you can spend about five dollars for a day. So you know what we will do? We will go and buy coffee in the morning. After we drink coffee, no food for us. So we'll go after like four, five to six to go and buy afternoon stroke, stroke night evening food. Evening food. So we carry it back to your hotel room or you eat it there, get some drink or water, 
on 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 we go, and you, and you have to have a map. You have to because because we were going to Trinidad and Tobago. All our plans was to go to Trinidad and Tobago. From there, maybe we could go to America. It was like some confusion route to be. You want to travel to abroad, so any route that being brought to you, you want to apply it because you want to survive. One month in a hotel and in 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 Brazil. Yeah. On seven hundred dollars. Less, it? even less. Less. Yes. Scan and What's it? Scan and sign. Scan and sign, yeah, because Ale, you know your plan, you know your journey ahead. So man, you cut your according to your side. I was I was said, and I dash our and I do one back in Gatari. You eat, you see how much left. You eat it all. at least you know. Did you do any shady businesses there to, to make yourself? No, 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 that time there was nothing. Uh, we, we have we had no idea on how to survive. In that time there was no even there was no there, the, the job was limited. The job was limited. I, 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 I haven't even seen someone say, oh, me or I'm working. So, at least, well, yeah, I was just to maneuver and carry on. L let's look at a day in your life during that first month in the, you know, Ocean of Park, then, then away, yeah. Because, like, we will be out one place. How was the day like for you? Okay, manya, manya guys from Fadama, Dakuma, La Paz, Kuma, we are, we are on the same journey. Okay. We are, we are, we are also on the same journey. So we, we became friends and acquaintances. Now we are having the same, the same goal, the same idea, the same thinking. So we are like a brothers. Every morning before we take our coffee, we have to spread a map on the table. Yeah, to see from, from Brazil to Venezuela, the towns. First, you have to go from, from Brazil, from Sao Paulo, you have to move to uh, you have to move uh, 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 a place called Porto Velo. Porto Be from, from Porto Velo, I have to move to Roraima. There, there are a lot of places. Where you get there? Yeah, by car? Ma by car? No, not solely by car. There are places you have to walk okay. to just bypass because migration. there are migration. That, there are places you have to take a boat. There are places you have to take a normal bus like this. It took us almost two to three weeks before we got to the uh, we got we got to the uh, Brazil Venezuelan border two Santa Elena what do you call it Santa Elena you made that move after how many months in Brazil after one month no, that we started our journey yeah okay. before that that same show Ali who went and who went and bought us tickets that bus ticket that would take us to Porto Velo that was the starting of the journey the starting point Porto Velo you reach Porto Velo we 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 check in hotel we want to go to uh, we want to go to a place called uh, uh, Boa Vista, that's around the uh, Amazon. From Boa Vista, Saint Helena, then then you get to Venezuela. From Venezuela too, you go to there are about sixteen to seventeen towns and states before you go to Caracas. Where's Caracas? The capital. That's the capital of uh, okay. Venezuela. Okay. Let's look at the journey. Yeah. How, how was it? I mean, how difficult and easy was it for you guys? There was. The terrible journey I ever embarked in my life was taking the killing to Venezuela. But on the road to, because we use, we use a fake visa, but God so good, we were lucky enough, we, we passed through the immigration process successfully. But on the road, every, let me say, an hour or two, there, there, there must be a, a, punch, a, a, a checkpoint. They will drop you out. Set you in the car in the, in the bus. It's a it's a full loaded bus to a place called San Feliz, San Feliz, Boa Vista, Boa Vista, Port of at least. So they will stop you. They will check you. They take some of your money from you. because they hate to see dollar. They hate to see dollar, and they know you are foreigners. Now that time we don't speak English. Uh, we don't speak Portuguese, neither Spanish because Venezuela is Spanish, and Brazil is Portuguese. Mm -hmm. So we don't speak <laughs> neither mm -hmm. both. So we just trying. They will stop you. They will make the bus go and leave you. Yeah, they have to, like, trying to check your bag intentionally. They want to take money from you. If you want to put stuff on, the bus will move away. You have to embark in another new, but you have to buy new things. Man, we had enough. So we got to uh, Caracas. And Caracas, too, is uh, mainly by uh, army, controlled by army during the Chavez regime. So we have to check in hotel, check in hotel. We hardly come out because yeah, you don't have to come out walking like this freely because uh, mainly uh, soldiers. Uh, soldiers. So we had one connection man. 
It wasn't a connection, man. It was a Nima guy, Nima, but we call it Edi Biggie. So what kind of idea? Yeah, yeah, at least there are, there are guys who, who 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 help us a lot. So I have to use this middle and give them the shout out. They help us. Edi Biggie is a one Nima guy. He was living in Venezuela for a decade before we came. So he said, we want to go to Venezuela. We want to go to Grand Tobago. Okay. After we came, we called him. So from Brazil to Venezuela, yeah. Venezuela to Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah, Trinidad and Tobago. I'll go ahead. It was Zion, Zion. Yeah, he's a rich We thank God. We thank God for that. We thank God. Yeah. So you enter, now you are in Venezuela? In Venezuela, he did give us some hotel. This kind of normal cheap hotel. It was during the Ramadan, like this time. Almost all my journey was in Ramadan. Mm. So it was smooth, alhamdulillah. So it took us to a mosque, a big mosque, for us to go and be having our iftar, that's Ramadan, breaking of the fast and stuff. We were there until like, brothers, today we are moving. But today your bus to the, to the shore, call it, uh, we call the place Barrancas. That's the one remote area that you could get the you, you could get the uh, fishing boat that will embark us to one highland. From the island, you have to stay two, three days before a Trinidad and Tobago boat will come from Trinidad to make a butter system. Yes, they bring, they bring uh, fuel from Trinidad and Tobago. No, they, bring, they, rather bring, they rather bring some food item to take fuel. Either they bring fuel to take some food. Uh, I forgot it. So after we got to Barrancas, we have to check in an hotel. The place, the most dangerous place I've ever seen because police and soldiers are, are monitoring the place. When you see the black guy, they say you want to cross the shore to mm. Trinidad and Tobago. So we live about two, three days in the, in the hotel. The guy called and said, hey guys, we are moving. One afternoon, I was in the bathroom when I had a call. Hey guys, we are moving. What? Man, I didn't even I didn't even warm my my, my pant properly. I took my bag. I was just handling my pant like this because when the taxi moved, you are gone because no time. The police and soldiers are around, so they took us to the shore. We waited about six to seven hours before they arranged a ship. From Venezuela to Trinidad and Tobago. No, yeah, yeah, at the shore uh, called Barrancas. We have to wait to check this whether everything is clear before you could move. So luckily enough, about six, seven hours, a boat came. One ugly old boat. Did you pay? Yeah, you have to pay. You have to pay $200, $250 to those guru boys around the shore. How many were you? We were that day, we were about six, if I could recall. Yeah, if we, were, we were about six. Just fishing boat? Fishing boat with Is one. It wooden or? It's wooden like fishing boat. Ghana. Ghana, but, but they mounted a, 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 a hardwood motor. Yeah. Yes. So like, you, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't paddle it? No, you don't. First, no, they, they will start paddling from the shore when they get to the middle before they will. Before so you're crossing a sea with a fishing boat? Or it's not a sea? That place, is, it, it isn't a sea. It's, uh, it's like a big stream, very big. Mm -hmm. You move about seven hours before you get to the, you get to the uh, meeting point of the sea. You that, move with the boat? Yeah, with the seven boat. Seven hours? After seven hours before. So our journey was 18 to 19 hours. On the, on the sea? On the sea. No, from, on the from, from the stream. Yeah, on the, yeah, yeah. 18 hours on the water? Yeah, until uh, before we got. We, we, were you told before that? We were told we are, we are going to embark for a journey to Trinidad. So, Igal, whatever happens, we are ready. 18 hours on the sea with, with that fish. fish yeah, we, we will change. We will change but we, we, we'll be getting a sophisticated one. But it's still a fishing boat. That will come from Trinidad and Tobago to to disembark in uh, in the highland. Okay. Then they will check you. They will do one, two, three check up before they will load you again. Then that ship fishing boat will come back to the come back to, to the shore. Next batch. Next batch to the to the shore. It, there's a, a bamboo structure. It was on the stream or a river, and they mounted a bamboo structure and they placed a wawa board. That's where they are living. That those uh, Indian uh, those. Those uh, we call it, we call them uh, those uh, in, uh, Indians. Those uh, Indians around the uh, Amazons, those Asian Indians, mm. that uh, indigenous uh, Brazilians and indigenous. That's how they, they live. You can't move, you can't step unless with the boats, okay. because we are above the water. So mm. that's where we stayed. We stayed about three, four days, and there was there was no boat coming. Man, there was no food. I'm telling you, no food. When you crossed the first one to go with for the next boat? Yes, next boat. It was just an island being created by them. 
So the, you're waiting for the next bat. Ba Either we're waiting for the next bat from Venezuela to the or a Venezuelan boat will come from Venezuela to disembark there to take us to uh, Trinidad. Uh, Trinidad Tobago. So we waited about three to four days. After that, 18 hours? No, no, no. I, I calculated it from where we took the boat okay. to where we stopped, make a stopover okay, okay. to three hours, uh, 18, 18 hours. Okay. Yeah. So the full trip is 18 hours yeah, on, yeah. on the water? Exactly, okay. 18 hours. Yeah. Okay. So when we got there, when we got there, about two, three days, no food, no water. We ate, we ate only once. Mm -hmm. We ate only once on that island. Wow. Yes. No, no three days. No bathing, no, nothing. So. That's it. We were there about three, four days. A trail and Tobago fishing boat came. It was very sophisticated, but it was a fishing boat. Even, uh, I forgot to tell you, when we embarked from the fishing boat from Barrancas, each and every one of us must, must lie down and they will cover us with uh, one plastic rubber. So all... The, yeah. in, in the canoe? Yeah, so only the paddler must be seen because they were uh, a coast guard both on both in the air and the sea. So when they see only the part, you know, this uh, normal fish, but, no we, but we were under the plastic boat. And and there was some perforation in the in the in, in the boat. So uh, we will get some uh, water inside. So it, they have to move us about three to four hours before we we'll, we'll 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 get uh, exposed. That day it was windy and rainy. So when we when we get capsized, we are dead. You are seeing it when you capsize. You know how you're gonna struggle. How much more you don't? You don't have. You, you were powerless, lying. So when you capsize, we just gonna drown in the in the water. Then we, we are good to die. And so go, you don't you don't go to toilet. You don't eat for that four three hours under the rubber. Yes. Even when you go to the island, no pee, no nothing. Because you you were you were not eating, neither drinking. How would you go and pee? All your focus was. I want to see a brochi. I want to see the real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everywhere, everywhere above the sky from Africa is a brochi, right? Mm. Yeah, so that's, that's, our, that's the perception. Part of that, yeah. So you go to Trinidad and Tobago? Yes. Another journey began. When we go, when we go to Trinidad, even when we were going to, when we, when we were on the boat. To Trinidad. Zion, I've seen something I've never seen. You know the boats, used to go above the, the sea water like this. Yeah. Then come down, wow. down the water. Oh, I got two of my guys got problem uh, uh, in their spine and the waist. Because, because the boat was fighting the shore. It was very, very windy day. You, you, you see the boat above the, the sea level. Then you come, then it, it will land again on the, so you tell us, be ready, be ready, be ready. You, you have to hold like this. So we did our best. Man, within three hours, we saw a flight. It is a small aircraft. It was a, a coast guard. Coast, that place, you see the danger, the, the difference between the Libya and Trinidad. People don't use to, people don't use to uh, uh, capture the bigger picture. You know, the Libyan shore, Immediately you guys set up the journey, there might be a rescue. Yeah. Even tell you to give you a choice. Do you want to be rescued, to be taken to Balta or Libya or, or, or uh, Italy. Italy or stuff? They will rescue you, give you life jacket, give you food. But our place, where, where the route that we took, the part, the canoe was illegal. One. The paddle of the canoe was illegal under, under suspicion. And, and when they catch you, both of you are going straight to jail. You can ask everybody. Trail and Tobago, when you were, when, even when you were caught in the town moving, you don't have visa. They know you, you came through the water. You are going to jail direct. So look at how dangerous it was on the sea. And there are some people who used to carry drugs on the... On the uh, uh, you are going illegally with drugs. They pick drugs, they pick rifles. They give us a pop action. I'm telling you, each and every one. So they give all of you when He said, when we are going, because there are some pirates that, they, uh, there are some pirates that sometimes, they will, they will attack your boat and take everything they have in the boat. They know you have drugs, you have guns, you have, so they'll give you guns. They'll tell you, any sound you hear from the bush, just pull the trigger. Yes. 
uh, I pulled the trigger before in my life. They said any sound because we we, we, we get to a place. It's very bushy above the sky. Then you have only slim route at this. So there are people who used to come with the boat again yeah, to rob, rob you, you, to kill okay. you. Mafias and mafias have a, 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 a mafias fights on that same sea. Uh -huh. And government too looking for them, police, coast guard. If they stop, you don't stop, they will just shoot, shoot, shoot you. So look at how dangerous it on case, how dangerous it was. Even when you when you get there successfully, when they catch you, when they arrest you, you are, you are going to jail. You are going to jail. So did you get there successfully without yeah. being arrested? Yeah, we got there successfully because they were they were talking to us to stop. Hey, stop! Above the sky. Hey, stop! We we got about about let's say 15 minutes to get to the Trinidad and Tobago shore. Okay. So stop! Stop! The guy said no. There's no way. Mm -hmm. That we were lucky that they just shoot. They, they, they would have shot us dead because they have the very hard rifles. But God so good, it was in the Ramadan and we were all fasting. Mm -hmm. So they would say, stop, stop. 15 minutes to get to the shore. Even they wouldn't get to the shore. They would get almost around there. They, would, they ask you to jump. And go. The water would get, uh, depending on your, 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 your height. The water could come to your knee, your waist, <laughs> your vertical cord, your breast, your chest, or you don't. Because when when the uh, when the boat settle on the shore, there's no way it can go back again. Mm. Yeah, because because of the uh, fan okay. that controls, so you don't have to get crashed there. To the, sure. to, so you have to get around where there's water. And when it's being caught again, you're going to jail. So you have to turn back and go mm -hmm. back to Venezuela. So that's how we did. God so good. Our guild. There's something we call guild. A guy who come and lead you. The, the, the guy who, whom whom we paid. Mm -hmm. Who come and lead you, lead you, lead till you get to town. So the guy took God missing. When the, the person was coming to search for you or when he came to pick you? We were together with him okay, uh, in the, the boat. boat. So we, uh, he let us sit here, just go and check around whether everything is clear. You go and never go, was, go back. He was nowhere to be found. You see mountains, mountains. You don't even know whether to take your left direction, right direction. Even in, in Trinidad. In Trinidad, that's the that's the just just the entry uh, 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 around the back. So there was bushy. It was very bushy. So you have to you have to walk miles before you start seeing streets. So imagine you came back from uh, from a country. Uh, you came back uh, illegally. That place wasn't uh, uh, wasn't well. Uh, well constructed, it is just bush, bush. So you have to move, walk, 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 walk before you could start seeing, seeing a road. And that place was was like a village. So the guy got missing. So we said, whatever happened, should happen. So we, we just got a place like this around the bush. We sat down trying to focus what we're gonna do next. Nothing we could do next, man. So we bump up in the one guy, he was planting weed. The guy saw us. What are you guys doing here, man? They were just speaking like a patois. What are you guys doing here, man? The guy saw us. He was running because... What are you guys doing here, man? I'm planting my fucking weed, man. Why? He knew we, we were illegal immigrants coming from, uh, coming from Venezuela. Venezuela. He knew there was someone ahead of us who could lead us. So we said you should help us. No way. I have nothing to help you now. I have nothing to do. So please. He said, so where am I taking you, boys, man? I don't know. I'm just planting my weed. When the police come, arrest me and you all, man. Go away. The guy sat us because he was fearing for his life. Because maybe the police have, have given some tip off, or there were some illegal immigrants. So they, when they come, the guy too was planting weed. So we said no problem. So we got to a place. We sat down trying to trying to read. Nobody died on the road. No, Alhamdulillah. Among our peers, among our group, nobody died. We made it. So we sat there about five, six hours. Then we sat here, uh, we heard some whisper, like a whistle. Beep, 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 beep. So, oh, well, we saw our guy came back, he can say, calm down. Everything was clear, but there's no way you could go to the town today because the place was very messy. So we have to calm down, but he's not taking us to his house now. We have to sleep in the bush. So he brought some plastic, big plastic rubber, put it on the ground. He brought one, 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 
this no uh, uh, sprites, yeah, one kind of sprite, big one, one, yeah. one liter, liter, and the bread. They give her. That that was what uh, we we lived on, and he told us, stay here, don't move, till 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 the dawn time. I will come and pick you to the town. So we are going to a place called called Shaguanas. but we've gotten to a place called Maruga. Maruga is a one remote area from the sea. So we are going to a city called Shaguanas. That's the second biggest city in Trinidad and Tobago, if, if I don't lie. So we were there, relaxing. Very tall trees. You can't even see the ends. Very tall, 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 tall trees. And we were just sitting there, waiting the long time. Within a second, we saw a flash of light again. Man, we say, Adem, Bium, Adem, Ye G, Ye Wum, Me, Ah, Ye Train, and I'm talking to Yonko Town. So we saw first flash, second flash, third flash. I said, No, maybe it might be police. This story I'm seeing, maybe one of my brother, Nazir Montel, 69, he's in America now. He, 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 when he, <laughs> he relates, because we were together, he said, hey, we, we scattered. Helter Skelter. We just cut it. Don't even in that in that country too. They have a lot of uh, they have a lot of uh, alligators. Yes, you can Google and see. Trying to wake up alligator. So small bushy place you see alligator. But that's where we lived. I slept under under a tree covered by a bush for six hours. There could be a python. There could be an anaconda. There, because of, there could be. The, the, the most, the most easiest thing to find was uh, uh, alligators. Mm -hmm. But look at how God does miraculous thing for his, uh, for his. Uh, so you, you you weren't arrested in Trinidad at all. God so good. But some of us, uh, among us, were arrested. But later, when we were living in town, work, doing our own normal thing, uh, one of our guys wasn't lucky. There was a, a roadblock. Then, but during during that time, during that time. How many, we uh, for how long did you stay in Trinidad? One year, six months. One year, six months. Year, six Illegal. Months. Illegal, yeah. You didn't get the documents. How can you get documents in and Tobago? Wow. They, we, we met a guy who spent almost, almost twelve years. That was a, that was the time he was he was closer to his document. He has a seven year old boy. He was there almost twelve years. That was the time he was even closer closer to his document. How much more we came just wow. recently? Can you get documents in Trinidad? To get a document, to get a document in Trinidad, man. So from Trinidad, did you move to America or what, what, what is your next move? Okay, that was our aim during those times. That was our aim. We, we have to go to America because at least we earn a bit. We earn is it closer a, to America? No, that's another journey. It's a, it's a journey, but that day, okay, that, that time we earned some small living that could, could take us to America. There are several means to go to America from Trinidad and Tobago that time. Either, either you go back to Brazil or you go back to Venezuela and start a journey. Or during those times, they introduced us to uh, Trinidad and Tobago passport. You need to buy, you need to buy Trinidad and Tobago passport. They will do you a two shame. Then you move so to. Original passport. They put your passport. Yeah, original passport. During those time, it wasn't a biometric. biometric. It was just two shame. I bought it. Thousand dollar. Almost everybody bought the Trinidad and Tobago passport during those times. So when you move to Venezuela, you fly from Venezuela to, to either Guatemala, Honduras, or uh, one of the Central America. So we all bought the passports. We were waiting for our day to move. The common job of Trinidad and Tobago was uh, 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 security. Okay. Yeah, security, that's what we did. So we bought the passport. So later, we heard in the news a Brazilian president, who is now a current president again, Inácio da Silva Lula, the, the excellence. He was leaving, he was leaving the office. He was giving uh, amnesty, amnesty to everyone. Yeah. So we have a change of mind. Some of us will have a change of mind, mixed feeling, dilemma, change of mind. So what shall we do now? Half of us still uh, stood with their plans. They were going to America. Part of us said we have to go back to Trinidad. We have to go back to Brazil, Brazil and, and get documented. From there, we could move ahead. At least, sound a little bit skeptical, but that's what we intended to do.
Mm. So I was among those who I was among those who, who voted for we have to go back to Brazil, Brazil because I need a document. Mm. I needed a document more than the money that time. Because a document can make you move because I've seen a life. I lived in, Ven in Venezuela, Trinidad and Tobago with that document. I've seen it. So I prefer document during those time. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I came through that means again. You went through that canoe. Yes. Canoe, 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 canoe. Exactly. Story. That's where, yeah. To Brazil. To, to, to Venezuela. To, okay. So then to Brazil. To Venezuela. We were caught again in Venezuela. We were caught by by the armies of, of uh, Venezuela. We were caught there. They, give, they, 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 they took our fingerprint and stuff, and they deported us to, to, to uh, no mass land. We call it Santa Elena, between Brazil and Venezuela. That's where we were being... Do people live there? Pardon me? Do people live there? No, it's just a no mass land. We, it is a, it's a middle point between okay. Venezuela and, 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 and Brazil. So what would they expect you to do? To go back to where? Wherever they, they, they refused us to stay, so they just deported us. We were being deported from Venezuela to no mass land. They can't take us to Brazil because we don't have a proper document to stay in Brazil. Mm. So we have to do our own means to how we get back to Brazil again. That's another journey. That's another journey. So it was during Ramadan too. I get, uh, uh, I got there during Ramadan. I, co I came out again during the, during Ramadan. So. We stood there about six to seven hours. We didn't even know what to do. We were just in the uh, Adenomas land. This is Brazil left, this is Venezuela right. We we're just there. But taxis are moving from Venezuela to Brazil, Brazil to Venezuela, Brazil to Brazil. So, so we decided to pick one of the taxis to just try our luck and see whether we could pass through Brazil successfully. Got so good, there was two, there were two checkpoints in the Brazilian border. We were managed to escape the first one. In the second one, the entire Anfao. A chimbium. See, hey! We saw, we saw a car with siren. Hey, stop, car number three, four, five, six, stop. Because we were parked in the taxi. Man. So, we stopped. So, the, so Brazilian migrations, now they have to handle our affairs because we are in the Brazilian territory. So they took us back to the office. They did the needful. Say, hey, where are you going? Hey, let's see your let's see your passport. They saw our old passport we came in with, with the, the visa had expired. We are having some some uh, a fake Brazil, a fake Venezuelan visa. So okay, no problem. And the Brazilians were so good to the extent that the, the immigration is okay. We will let you in, but we give you five days to live outside Brazil. And if you want to see, see, if you want to live in Brazil, go and look for a lawyer. Immigration man deported us. You know, after we were being deported from Venezuela, then they allow us in. They said, no problem. We'll take, our part, we'll take your particulars, but the stamp in our passport and give us five days permission to live in Brazil. And they, the, the same immigration said, but if you want to live in Brazil legally, go and look for a lawyer. That's where the journey began. We just did what we have to do, pa 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 pa. We changed what we have to change. We, we kept what we have to keep. Then we kept what, what we have to keep. We changed what we have to change. Then we went to Ghana Embassy in Brasilia. We went for new passports, that stuff. We went in to make the application and they gave us the amnesty. Oh. They gave us the amnesty. They gave us the amnesty. They gave us working permit. They gave us place to stay. That's why. Another life began in Brasilia. This was a good life. Yeah, good life. Oh yeah, 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 yes. Yeah. It's far better than what I have, <laughs> I've witnessed. Oh, okay. <laughs> How many kids do you have in Brazil? I'm only, oh, I have only one kid. Only one kid. Yeah. So why did you leave Brazil after 15 years? No, I didn't leave out of Brazil. I was just from Brazil this last two weeks. So you still stay in Brazil? No, literally down. So you've left? No, listen, listen. Can you stay here? Yeah, I do stay here, but. I do go to Brazil every every now and then. I do go to Brazil. Mm. I, just, I was just I just came from Brazil, Panama, Mexico, just last two weeks before I, I met you in Banff last time. I came to this before I, I left in Banff. I went and visited my my old crooks, old, old folks, my old gurus. So what business were you doing in Brazil? 
Mm. After you had everything like Brazil, that. Brazil is the same buy and sell, man. Buy and sell. I had a small shop. I used to go to China, bring goods, Vietnam, this kind of Macau. Sika Oho. For me, I would say Sika Oho for, man. Me, I always compare everything to where I was coming from. Ghana. Because me, me, or any bar, I don't have to overlook things. If I can pay my rent, send a little bit quota of my salary to my friends, sister, brothers, I'm, I'm more okay. I'm more, I'm more okay than, than a millionaire because mm. my father taught me how to be content. So I was contented. I was content. So after all this hustle, I mean, going up for so so, you're chone, you're born in Nano. I mean, over can say, life is better, better right now. Is, is it worth it? Alhamdulillah, it's been worth it. Alhamdulillah, because every, every uh, subject or every period in my life is, is growth, is success. Everything in my life from then is growth, is success, is growth, so, till where I'm going to go to. Okay. So I, I would say Alhamdulillah. You see how weird it was in Germany? You see, I, uh, uh, I have a family here. I have three kids here with my wife. Mm -hmm. So 2015, I went back to Ghana and got married and got married, and I took my wife to Brazil. Okay. We, we lived in Brazil for a year. We had, a, we had our first child with my Ghanaian wife in Brazil, in Sao Paulo. Oh, you have a Brazilian wife? Do you have a cousin, my Ghanaian wife? Yeah, I had, uh, I had the Brazilian fiancé before. With, okay. uh, that's, uh, uh, she had my, my baby, Ali Matisadia. Okay. Yeah, so I would say with my Ghanaian wife. We, we are still saying hi, we are still talking it's because, more, more of, because of our yeah. baby. So. That's how I took my wife to Brazil, 2015. We had our first baby, Zainab Tilata. After Zainab had one year, I moved them to Germany here because she has a auntie here. She has a family. Mm -hmm. She has a very big family in Hamburg. So I feel like, okay. And I was talking with the auntie. Auntie said, it would be very good if you bring my, my daughter here. Mm, come and she come and school, she come and do this, we we'll get crap and stuff. So I was talking with the auntie back and forth and the cousin and the sister and the nieces. So I, I got convinced, okay, because he, so, uh, I don't know how to say, Hamburg is a little, it's, it's little bit developed than, 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 this, than Sao Paulo. Not too, not far developed, but, but in terms of uh, security wise. Okay. But for me, I can live for life in Brazil. Yeah. And Brazil is my favorite country in life, if you Brazil. ask me. Up in now, Brazil is my wow. favorite country. Because I've been more than a more than, uh, decade and a half, so I, that's where it's I had serious. all my experience, all my earnings. Now I'm saying 1.5 or 10% of earnings that I've got now, what I've, the asset I have at home is in Ghana, all came from Brazil. Maybe I'll, I'll continue. I continued from UK here, Dublin. Went UK. Yeah, I went to UK. I worked a little bit in UK. I went to Dublin, Ireland. I went. I got. The, I work here a little bit. So I'll say, but half, half or more than half of my earnings, my asset, what I have now to be, all came from Brazil. So bigger Brazil. Why not America now? Why, why have you moved to America? Because yeah. Brazil, America. Now you have passport. You have a Brazilian passport. And going to America, do you need visa? Yeah, for now I need visa. I need visa, but, but not. Then, Brazilian passport? Yeah, not really the visa is the case. I have my own company in Brazil. I'm a, I'm a self-employed in Brazil. Okay. I have, I have, it, okay. I have, I have what it takes to apply, uh, to apply visa everywhere. Mm -hmm. mm, America, for now, no. Mm -hmm. I top. And never, never did my eye to go. Even people were, even some of my family were, so, ah, why would you go to America? And I mean, a, a, a calling, I would say. But you hear that people walk, from Brazil to America. I know, I know, I know, I know. Is it easy? I think my thing was, I mean, now will be able to kind of story at Germany. Is it easy? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not all that easy, but people do work, but not, not many really working alone. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, from Sao Paulo, people used to go to a place called uh, Rio Branco. It's a, it's a border town between Brazil and, uh, Brazil and Peru, Brazil and, let's say, yeah, Brazil and Peru. From there, you take a taxi, from, you get to Peru, Peru, you go to, you, you go to, uh, you go to Colombia, you go to Colombia, from Colombia, 
We have various means of going to America from, from, South, Afri from South America, depending on the documentation you have, depending on your pockets. Hey, you can't say be a Brazilian no. no, 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 no. Depending uh, uh. the documentation you have, if you are legal in Brazil, you can make a shortcut. Okay. If you are illegal in Brazil, okay. there's a way that... Uh, there's a, no, 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 people are still going, they're moving. It's worth it. So it's let's, let's, mm. let's, let's, let's put that one aside. I want to try and get somebody on what uh, that experience they didn't come off. Okay. Now you're talking about things that you've made back home. I mean, after all this stress, what and what and what have you made back home? Oh, back home. I, 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 I mean, it, I, it, 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 it is worth it. So I really don't want to disclose it mm. really that, but alhamdulillah, yeah. manageable. Mm -hmm. Let's say manageable. At least you have a place to put your head. At least after oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have some small business running, at least it's worth it. But for me, like this, if a small thing again, I say alhamdulillah. So I say I'm better. For now, I'm better than where I was before. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Final words to Ashafu. Oh, okay, Ashafu. I would say thank God for this day. Thank, thank to Mr. Zion Felix. Thank to Sanya Adams who, who made it possible. Yeah. Who connected to me to Zion Felix to have this chat. I say thank you very much. But whatever dreams you have, please, don't back up. Don't back up. Some people might have gotten it easier. Mm -hmm. Some people are still getting it easier. But if, if, if the hard way how do it is your choice or how do it is the only means you have. Please, don't give up. Don't just give up. Build on your dreams with prayers. But you have to have a clean heart. I will tell you the clean heart that made me go ahead because everyone who comes from Ghana to Brazil, my home is the shelter home for them. Yes, you can ask everybody. Open-heartedly. You don't pay light bill, you don't pay water bill. You leave my hotel, you go wherever you want to go. So I see the open heart the way I have pity for people, because I've been through a lot, so I don't want you to go through what I had before. So I say, open your heart, be clean, be genuine. Uh, welcome everybody, at least. Make a, every, a, 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 let's say, treat everybody equal as you want you to be treated. You get, man, you pass everywhere, no matter how it is, you come out successful. So thank you, subscribe to Zion Fairless, and at least build on your crafts, Build on your career, build on your journey, build on your uh, dream. Let's say thank you very much. Ramadan Mubarak to each and everyone. Thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank <laughs> Those are the TN or that I mean, I won't even try. You can maybe some compare or even try traveling. Yeah, no be any of them. Please share your pay. I won't even try. I won't advise that you try. My name is Ayan from ABC. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. At Diaspora Insurance, we understand the importance of dignified send-offs within Ghanaian culture and traditions. We also understand that you want to avoid the double trauma of your family grieving and not having the financial support to cover funeral expenses when you're not around. With our Diaspora Funeral Cash Plan, you can now cover yourself or your family in Ghana or abroad. With no medicals required, we'll accept you if you are under 75 years. Visit our website today or call us to complete a simple form in under five minutes. With Diaspora Insurance, your peace of mind is guaranteed.